So web designing, web designing is nothing but the collection of web pages to become a website and designing the web pages and the entire website is called as web designing. So in web designing, we'll be using the technology called HTML, Hypertext Markup Language. So that text is there and it became a hypertext on clicking it, you'll be navigating somewhere. That is called as Hypertext Markup Language. It is like a human. You got the head and your body. The head, if, if the head is not there, you can't see, you can't identify me. So it is really important to identify who is this guy. Okay, the head and the body where over here you got the hands and legs and everything. So you got the head and your body. That's how your HTML is formed. Every tag in HTML will have the opening tag and also a closing tag. So between these tags, you will have the content. HTML slash HTML. So slash indicates the closing tag in HTML. If we talk about the HTML history, it's a very big history. Just go and check all the data, all the details about the uh, history of HTML. And I want to specify over here something. This is the URL, Uniform Resource Locator, the link of the web page. And HTTP indicates, HTTP indicates the naming scheme. So it can be HTTP or HTTPS. Okay, it can be FTP also. So it will specify the protocol. Protocol is nothing but the standard of transferring the data from the source to destination. Over here, this is called as the naming of resource. And this is your naming path. So naming path, this is how it will be specified. So, and uh, <clears throat> we talk about the basic structure of HTML over here, as I told you, like uh, you will have the HTML open and the closing tag and you got the head tags and slash head and you got the title over here and you got the body over here. You got the individual tags over there and you can see all the stuffs. So let's move on to the first program of HTML. So like, as I told you, you got doc type. What is a doc type, sir? Specifying the type of the document informing the browser that hey this is an html document so to indicate that when you got the doc type language equal to en indicating that this language the entry content is an english language or if it is in japanese jp so you can specify the specific language okay over here the head tag and you got the body tag h1 you got the h1 the paragraph tag you got the paragraph you got the paragraph you got the paragraph here this is how your html is if we talk about the content Sir, I got the paragraph tag. So it will be it will be specified in a group, right? What is a group? That is your content categories. You got lots of contents like main, transparent, form related, specific content. So over here you are able to see all the contents is categorized. The main content got the metadata content, flow contents, sectioning content, heading content, phrasing, embedded, interactive, palpable. <coughs> <coughs> And followed by, you got the form associated contents, transparent, form related and specific content categories. So this is how, so if you learn all these contents, you are expertise in HTML. Okay. So considering I got the output tag, sir, what is this content? It is belongs to your flow content. Okay. Just see this one. You will get an idea. Let's move on to the doc type. As I told you, doc type is nothing but indicating to the browser informing the browser hey this is here what kind of a document is this one document type specifying what is the kind of a document type so that is how your d like a document type is doc type html so you got a lot of definitions over there just go and watch it you got a html here as i told you if you got an html tag you should have your closing html tag over here like this okay okay like you can see all those stuffs now let's move to the title tag. What is this title tag, sir? Informing the browser, what is the name of the website? That is called as a title tag. Okay, so title tag will be placed in the head tag. So like if you can see me, on seeing me, you are able to find, hey, this is Venkat man. On seeing my face, if a if face is not there, you can't find me. So this is your title. Okay, so the title can be specified using title slash title. And you got the output wall like this. And over here, you got the body tag. Body tag is a tag where you'll place all the contents. Okay, you can see it here. You got the body tag. So, so body tag, like so where is my head tag? So I no need of head tag. So you can, that is like a optional. The head tag is optional. So over here, body tag, what are the contents you're given? It will be placed over here. So you can, you can see all the details in the body tag. The next one is like head tags or heading tags. Heading tags are nothing but 
indicating the heads of the paragraph. The head of the paragraph, the topic of the paragraph can be indicated via the heading tags. Heading tags from H1 to H6, you are able to see H1 to H6. I got the body tags here. H1, H2, H3, H4, H5, H6. That's good, man. Okay. You are able to see it here. You are able to see the heading tags here like this. Okay. So you can see H1, bigger font, bigger font, lesser, lesser. So H6 will be the smaller fonts. Okay. And uh, let's talk about the paragraph tag. So you give a paragraph for that you need a specific font, right? So it can be specified with this a paragraph tag P tag. Okay, paragraph tag. So you can indicate using a paragraph tag over like this. Okay, that's how your HTML tags are. Hope you love this video. Like uh, if you're looking for any other technology, you can put it as a comments. And apart from that, if you want to learn more technology, just follow my video series.